everybody, we are here on Warshipcraft, and I'm going to be telling you how to build a submarine. Now, as you can see, I have a submarine right here, and it is floating above water. And if I push this forward button, watch closely. Very slowly, it dives under. Now, when a submarine is under the water, it can't get hit by shots, so you are safe. But, one thing to remember is that you can only shoot with the underwater torpedo. All the other guns need to be above the water to shoot. So, um, I'm going to be teaching you how to build this um, item. Now, the depth gauge is just so you know how far you are so that you don't go too deep and you die. So, how this is done is actually by putting propellers facing upwards, not downwards, but if I zoom in here, see how the fans are placing or going that way? That's how it works. And then you have so you have about maybe depending on the size of your vessel, you have um, as many as how buoyant it is. The more you put on it, the more it'll be pulled down. But you also have to remember that you need to have engines under there somewhere. And there is large boilers, is what I filled this entire thing with. And then I used hull and weights and other things uh, to make sure that even when it is above the surface, it works. Whoops, whoops, whoops. So I'm just going to do a quick tutorial. This is just what I built. <laughs> See, there's actually a sh Oh my goodness, that's a ship. There's actually a ship. Um, okay, that's jet black. Eh, called the JS Soryu with the weird things above it. Even do it with this prototype. You'll be amazed. So, oh, you already did it with this prototype. I'll just take it off. Basically, you don't even have to make it look like a submarine. I just made it look like a submarine. So, you have this ship right here that's on the verge of sinking. Full power goes perfectly. Now, you go into the settings area and you grab out the propellers in the engine area. And you make them facing upwards, just like that. Now, you're going to want to place one there, maybe. One there. Okay, those don't look like they're in that spot. Now I'm gonna get rid of that one and go over here. You don't need you also you don't need very many as long as you have it like just right on the tipping point of being below the water and above the water. So right now we're sinking, and if we go, go backwards and up, then we're up. And if we go full power, then we're gonna be diving really fast. Oh, actually, no, nope, we are perfect. We are literally not seen, and we're going at a full three knots. Look at that. that. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Um, now, if I added more boilers and made it a little more lighter, then it would go a little more, f a little faster. So let's see if I can do that. I'll buy some boilers. Um, large boiler. One. Let's just do that. Okay. Now let's add some. Oh, that's not in the right place. Is that it? No, that's not in the right place. Okay, and just do like that. Okay, perfect. Now that we have that set up, all we have to do is add some weight. Actually, you know what? I bet the boiler is weight enough. Yep. Yep. Too much weight, actually. Nope. Nope. And if we do that, if we do that, it dives under. <laughs> okay. So we need to do a little bit of work on this thing, I guess. Uh, as you can see, I literally just put this together, so... It's not the best. You have to spend a lot of work, like, teetering it and making sure that you balance the whole thing out. But if you work for a long enough time, I'm going to get that money back, you can make something like this. <laughs> oh, this is great. Dive. And as you can see, the enemy ship actually won't be able to uh, see the depth gauge. They can't tell if I'm about to resurface or I'm going to come up. They can't even tell where I am. So that's a very great thing. And if you go to the enemy ship's area and you wondered how there could possibly be submersibles, that's how it's done. You don't need to spend the, what is that, one, two, you don't need to spend $300,000 for a submarine. You can just build your own. It's quite simple, actually. Quite simple. And in the missions log, you can actually go against it. The JS Sorozu. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, okay. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh, this is too much. Um, <laughs> uh, going against a sub with a sub. I don't think many other people have done this. I thought I hit steering. 
That's annoying. I don't have scaling. I must have forgotten to add a rudder. <laughs> I don't even think he'll be able to get me. I'm under the water. Okay, we are here, and as you can see, the JSRU, or SRU, I don't know how you say it, is turning. And we are heading right into it, except he can't see me. <laughs> he can't see me. Let's just bounce up and see if he sees us. I'm right here. <laughs> see me? We're both socks here. We could be friends, right? Maybe? No. No. Oh my goodness, he does not want to be friends. <laughs> he does not want to be friends. As soon as he saw me, he was just like... Torpedo, eh, mate? You think you want to be friends with me? No, nope. I don't know. Boom. I'm up. And I'm down. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I'm just like, hey, you want to be... Oh, no, 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 no. Dive under. Dive under. Really? You're mean. You are strictly mean. So that is how you do it. So the more work you put into your um, submarine, the better it will... Oh, come on. Okay, that's too bad I had. No, I'm done. Okay, anyway. The more work you put into it, balancing it, and then adding designs. Like, this thing took me half an hour to build. But the basic secret is having the fans n not are facing upwards, okay? <laughs> that's the basic, basic secret. What? Am I going against the GSRU or whatever again? Yes, I am. Yeah. I hate you. Okay, that's it. Um, don't forget to leave a like if you liked it, subscribe to the forum, and have a great day, see you next time, and bye!